Hello, Team Sagittarius. It's Caroline from Empire 333. Hope you're well and safe. So, Sag, we'll be getting into your energy. I'm just going to channel an energy, whatever energies you're in. And then we're going to channel whoever it is that you are thinking about. Um, so, Sag, do you know what I'm getting? You're nostalgic about someone. You might be missing someone at this time. Um, and spirit is saying it could be somebody who is romantic or platonic. It doesn't matter. Um, and that person is no longer in your life. Um, and what they're saying, what spirit is saying to me right now is that if you want to feel that feeling, get into the energy of it. So it's not like you can't feel that feeling anymore just because that person is not around. What I'm hearing here is like get into the feeling of that energy because the energies you were in with that person when, you know, whatever you associated with that person or you encountered that person in your life are not the same with the energies you are in now. So I feel like for some of you, um, it's just a matter of you transmuting whatever it is that you feel right now. Um, maybe you're disappointed, Sagittarius. For some of you, I'm seeing you're gardening. So that's really good. If you're thinking about gardening, like planting some flowers, um, that is really good. That would really help, you know, with whatever it is that you're going through. Um, I'm also seeing the eternity symbol. I was seeing it before this came out, I swear. Um, the infinity, the Fibonacci. Um, so, okay, I get what they're saying. They're telling you to transmute energy, like alchemize whatever. Um, like if you're feeling down, Sagittarius, um, whatever phase you're going through in life, alchemize those energies, okay? So it can cause a shift and you could feel better, okay? All right, King of Rods. I don't know what it is if somebody is waiting for you or you are waiting for someone. This is very interesting because we have the high, we got the hierophant here. There is someone here who you had wish fulfillment with that um, it feels over, okay? So this could be someone um, that you were in a commitment with, okay? Because we have the hierophant here. Oh, this is interesting. I just heard, are you ready to talk? So it might be somebody is calling you Sagittarius or you're calling someone we'll get into your person's energy in a second but what I'm feeling here is that um sensing actually that oh okay so somebody wants to talk to you Sagittarius okay um this is someone who you had wish fulfillment with and there was an ending between you and this person, okay? Um, we got we got a lot of energies here. Virgo, Gemini, Taurus, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn. Oh, interesting. You could be recently single. Um, also Sagittarius, what I'm getting here, if you are single, this could be somebody who wants a commitment with you or that you've invested a lot of time with, time and energy, because we have the Ten of Pentacles here, okay? So, okay, whoever, whoever chose to leave who what I'm getting is that person is looking back so they're looking back to the past so they're looking back towards you Sagittarius that's what I'm getting okay 
So let's get the energy of this person. Yeah. I feel like somebody wants to talk to you. Seriously. Okay, let's do this. This spirit, can you tap me into the person that Sagittarius is thinking about? Okay, this is interesting. We got two magicians on each corner. Very strong, energetic connection you have with this person. Um, this person has very deep feelings for you, Sagittarius. I don't know if it if they have expressed that to you or not, but there's very deep feelings. This person has for you, okay? doesn't matter what card I'm holding up. This could be a female that you want, right? Or you're thinking about. doesn't have to be necessarily a male, okay? Keep that in mind. This person... Um, this is somebody who you could have, like, traveled to see or um, you could have traveled together, you both had some really good adventures with. I'm also seeing like um, somewhere in the in the sky, spirit. <laughs> oh god, um, I'm seeing like somewhere on a mountain that somebody went to. Like it's kind of maybe it's like a sightseeing place or something special that's on top of a mountain. Okay. Some of you, lighthouse, or you might live near a lighthouse, okay? Um, what else, Spirit, do we need to know about this person? What does this person want from Sagittarius? Two of Cups. We got that twice. We got that. Oh my God. We got that twice so far in Virgo's reading and um, Scorpio. So if you have those placements, you can watch that if you're dealing with Scorpio or Virgo. Um, this, well, this is Cancer energy, but regardless, this could be a Cancer. Um, this person feels so connected to you. They know that you are soulmates, etc. You know, whatever kind of soulmate. Divine counterpart, you know. Um, whoever this person is, um, they cook really good. I don't know. They cook food or they bake really good or something. I'm getting somebody like on the, in the kitchen. Um, they're really good in the kitchen, Okay. For making food, that is. <laughs> okay. Um, you guys, spirit is like, has me, like, I feel very high. Even though I'm sober, I feel very high today. Okay, so, um, yeah. Okay, this person, all right, let's get back to the reading. This person, Sagittarius, they really want to come towards you. But I feel that, they're trying to manifest you back instead. So it's kind of like, yes, I want to be with Sagittarius, whatever, but I am i don't know if I should make that move. I don't think it's in my place to make that move. So I feel like this person is trying to use, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. They're just trying to manifest you. So what does this person want from Sagittarius? Because they don't know what to do at this point about this, you know? It's like, yeah, they want to talk to you, but what is that going to help, right? Ace of Cups. So I feel like this person, um, they're not happy, let me tell you. They're very disappointed at what went down between you two. Um... And it could be, like, listen, Sagittarius, I'm getting one of the scenarios I'm getting. There's so many, and we don't have time for that, right? 
one of the scenarios I'm getting is like, yeah, I left you, Sag. But now I'm like, did I do the right thing? I left you. And now I'm thinking, should I reach out to you? But that would be stupid because I'm not going to go back on what I said. But I still, I just want love. I want a peace offering. I want, I want to talk to you. I want to see you. I might have blown this out of proportion. Um, Scorpio energy. Um, what's that saying? Yeah, that's that's a little drastic spirit. Um, you know, it's kind of like you don't bite the hand that feeds you kind of thing. So I feel like this person, it's like now they're realizing like, hey, you know what? Sagittarius was there for me. Sagittarius cares about me. Sagittarius, like they, they realize all your good qualities, right? And they're looking back and like thinking like, why am I, why did I do what I did? Like, I know why I did what I did, but I feel like this person changed their mind, Sagittarius. I don't know. Because we have judgment here. So this is telling me they want to get back with you. Oh God, I got to cover this. This person wants to get back with you. Okay. Hiroshima, okay, that's in Japan, I think. I don't know why I'm hearing Hiroshima, okay? I think that's an island in Japan <clears throat> or city. I don't know what you call it. But this person wants to get back with you, Sagittarius. What do they want? What do they want? Huh. Oh, my God, this is crazy. This is so similar to Virgo and Scorpio. And I shuffled, guys, and I cleared. Um, this person wants to move towards you. A butterfly might be significant, guys. Um, somebody could have a butterfly tattoo. And the sun, a tattoo of the sun. Okay, somebody's an Aries here or a Taurus or has those placements. Whoa. Ooh, this is interesting. Maybe that's a good thing. Okay, they want to come towards you because they are, they have been waiting for you to contact them. Okay, maybe you already did. But recently, this person wants you, wanted you, they were waiting, like, when is Sag going to reach out to me? Sag didn't reach out to me. So now that you didn't, Sag, which is a good thing, I don't know if you want to talk to this person or not, let me know in the comments. This person is coming towards you. What do they want with Sag? Besides peace offering, like, what do they want? What do they want from Sagittarius spirit? Really? Yeah, so what's going on here is that this person can't get, they can't get you out of their head, Sagittarius. So they want something new with you. They want to start all over. But they don't know if the spark is still there with you and them. And you both have to have the drive. That's the problem. I don't know what happened to your drive, both of you. I feel like it, like, fizzled out. Why? Why did it fizzle out? What happened? That's something you need to consider, Sagittarius. Um, I mean, I don't know. This, this person could be, you know, I don't feel like, I mean, I don't feel like this person's a jerk. I'll tell you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they've just been isolating themselves. This person, okay, this is what I want to say. They're nostalgic about you and them together, okay? It's kind of like, oh, I miss you now since I you're gone. I miss you now since you moved out. I miss you now 
because I'm thinking about you now. I'm fantasizing about you now. I'm remembering all those good, great memories because now I don't have access to you. Okay? Not cool energy, right? This could be one of those people where they crave you only when you're gone or they want you when you're not around. They don't realize what they have until you're gone. It's that kind of energy. This person lives a lot um, in the ego, okay? Through their ego, not their heart space. Like, they could be the type of person that's like, I want what I can't have. I want what I can't have access to. Um, Everybody is a conquest. You know, that kind of energy, which is not cool. <coughs> that's hard to deal with. I'm not saying don't love this person, Sagittarius. You could adore this person. I'm just saying that part of them is not cool for you because that causes a lot of heartache. So there's someone now who wants to come through with some type of communication and see how you feel about them, how you would consider, because they can't get you out of their mind. That's what I'm hearing. They can't get you out of their mind. They keep thinking about you. They keep thinking about the memories you had. There's, it's like sweet nostalgia. You're like overcoming, you're over empowering their mind space, okay? Even though I feel like they're the one. Let me know, Sag. They're the ones who left, right? They're the ones who cut this off or broke this up. Just letting you know. Well, I hope this helps, Sag. If it has, don't forget to like this video if you got um, value from it. And uh, I wish you all the best as always. And peace out.